Good morning, sixth class students. In previous class, I explained about third lesson, animals and their food. In that, I explained about uh, animals and their food habit. Do you know? We animals are called social animals. We animals are called heterotrophs. Keep it in mind. Animals are called heterotrophs. What is meant by heterotrophs? The organisms which depends on other organisms for food known as heterotrophs. If you will take plants are called autotrophs. Why? Because they are they can prepare their own food material in the process of photosynthesis. We animals are called heterotrophs. Why? Because we cannot prepare our food. Why? Because we does not have ability to prepare food in the process of photosynthesis. We animals depends on a plants or other animals for food. So, we are called heterotrophs. According to the food habits, animals are categorized into three groups. I explained in the previous class. They are, once again I repeat, uh, what, how um, organisms or animals are classified into different groups. According to their food habits, animals are categorized into herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores means the animals which eat only plant products known as herbivores. And carnivores means the animals which eat other animals known as carnivores. And omnivores means the animals which eat both plants and animals called omnivores. Examples of herbivores are cow, buffalo, goat, sheep, horse, camel. Examples of carnivores are lion, tiger, wolf, fox etc and examples of omnivores are human beings dog crow etc okay children now i will explain about how do animals eat food animals depends on other animals some animals depends on plant products some animals depends on animal products some animals depends on both plants and animal products how do animals eat their food do you know to take food material to eat food material they use different senses like uh, these all are senses. Senses like smell, sight, hearing, taste, touch. Some animals will take the food material by using of sense of smell. They see, absorb the smell and uh, afterwards they take the food material. And some sight means they are by seeing, they see the food material uh, with the help of the sight they take the food material. Some will use hearing with the help of their ears. They absorb, the, they hear the sounds. With the help of their sounds, they recognize what food item present in their surroundings and take the food items. And some use taste by using of its tongue. With the help of tongue, they use the, they absorb the taste of the food material and take the food material. And some using touch by with touch by using touch they eat the food material. So, based on this, we concluded that different animals will take eat different types of uh, food material by using of different senses like uh, smell, sight, means seeing, hearing and uh, taste and uh, touch. Now, I will explain the next activity, activity 2. All of you open your page number 24. Open page number 24. And uh, a box given in your page number 24 that is table 2. There they gave 10 serial numbers and 10 animals. Sense used in taking food. Already explained. Different senses used by different animals to take food material. Body parts used in taking food. Okay, 3, 4 columns there. 10 serial numbers are there. First write down. Already they gave dog. Sense used in tra tracking, tracking food. Smell. Already they gave smell. Body parts used in taking food. Sharp teeth, tongue. These two sharp teeth and tongue helpful to taking food material. Next they gave cow. Right on there. Cow. Sense used in tra tra tracking food that is taste. Write down there, taste. T-A-S-T-E, taste. Body parts used in taking food. Flat teeth, 
write down flat teeth f l a t flat teeth t e t h t incisors write down spelling i write here incisors i n c i s s o r s do you know children incisors are the teeth which help to cut the food material incisors are the teeth which help to cut the food material the front portion if you observe in our teeth the front four teeth will be known these are incisors come up tongue t o n g u e tongue cow sense used in taking food is taste body part used in taking food is flat incisors teeth incisors tongue next hen third serial number hen write down sense used in taking food smell they absorb the smell and uh, while taking the food material body part used in taking food beak write down beak b e a k beak write down beak b e a k beak means muku fourth one frog f r o g frog they gave already write down receptors present in head and eyes write down receptors receptors present in tongue receptors present in tongue receptors are the cells which help to recognize the taste of food material body parts used in taking food long sticky tongue write down l o n g long and sticky s t i c k s t i c k y sticky tongue t o n g u e tongue fifth they gave snake snake write down tongue bracket for taste buds tongue t o n g u e tongue taste buds taste buds are the buds which present in tongue which help to identify the taste of the food material write down body parts used in taking food tongue t o n g u e tongue six they gave bat b a t bat bat means gabbler sense used in tracking food hearing do you know children bats produce huge amount of sounds that is to find out the enemies present in their surroundings and to find out the food material present in their surroundings that is called echolocation with the help of sound they can find out what food may present around them no this process is known as echolocation bats identify the food with the help of hearing next body parts used in tracking food capture with the tail and eat with the teeth capture c a p t u r e capture and patkol hold it with the tail t a i l tail and eat with the teeth eat with the teeth t e t h next lizard they gave lizard bully sense used in tracking food i smell so lizards find out the food with the help of eyes and smell body parts used in taking food is mouth they have sticky tongue with the help of this tongue they can capture the food material tongue mouth m o u t h mouth bracket low you have to write tongue also within bracket you have to write tongue vulture they gave vulture vulture means rabandu we know eagle eagle means gradda vulture means rabandu sense used in tracking food smell comma vision vision y v i s s i o n vision means chodadam with the help of smell and with the help of vision they can identify the food material present around them body parts used in tracking food strong hooked beak very important right on strong hooked h o o k e d hooked beak hooked means curve like this the beak of vulture will be like this and sharp claws sharp claws claws means gold if you observe in vulture we can find out 
strong hooked beak like this beak will be like this this helpful to tear the flesh tear the flesh and sharp claws they have sharp padalaina like gold untai with the help of this sharp claws and with the help of this uh, hooked beak helpful to tear the flesh of animals dead animals next one is lion they gave lion sense used in tracking food taste comma smell taste comma smell t a s t e taste comma smell s m e l l smell already they gave for you legs claws mouth they have sharp claws in their legs strong legs with the help of this claws legs and mouth do you know children legs have carnivore legs are carnivores no they have sharp teeth called canines canines sharp teeth which help to tear the flesh of herbivores like cow buffalo sheep goat horse camel etc long legs comma claws gold padalaina gold panja antaru kada mouth humming bird humming bird write down vision v i s i o n vision they can identify the food item with the help of vision and taste t a s t e taste body parts used in taking food beak b e a k beak so the activity two table which tells us about different animals use different senses to identify the food some use taste a uh, sense of taste some use sense of vision some use sense of hearing some helpful to sense of some use sense of touch and some use different methods <coughs> to collect the food items so this table tells us about different animals use different senses to identify the food items and use different parts to take food material okay children now pond scatters Pond scatters are large insects which wandering along, wandering with clusters of or groups of pond scatters near ponds. What is the reason to catch the small insects which wander around the pond? They are called pond scatters. Now, different and ways by different animals by different organisms. different animals will use different body parts <coughs> to catch the food item for example if you will take dog or if you will take frog both will use tongue to catch the food items but the way of taking food is different if you will take dog dog licks the food material before taking it lick means nakadam licks means nakadam they lick the food item before it takes food if you will take frog frog also use tongue to catch the food items they have sticky tongue to catch the prey do you know about prey prey means killing animal predator means prey predator means kill killing animal prey means killed animal do you know tiger is a predator deer is a prey tiger is a predator which kills deer deer is prey so the way of taking food by different organisms by different ways dog and frog both will use dog dog and frog both will use tongue to take food material but the way by taking food material is different dog licks the food item before taking food while frog use a sticky tongue to catch the prey means here small insects and uh, different uh, different body parts will use to take same type of food also for example if you will take frog and hen both will take same type of food like small insects if you will observe frog frog use a sticky tongue to catch to take insects while hen will use beak to take food material 
to take insects. Based on this, we concluded that different animals will use same type of body part to take different food items and different animals will use different types of body parts to take same type of food items. Okay? I will explain about this topic in the next class also. Okay? Today we will learn about how do animals food? They use different senses to take food like smell, sight, hearing, taste, touch. And I, I explained about different body parts we use or different senses used to take food material. In the next class I will explain about different ways by different animals by different organs to take food material and different animals, how different animals will take different food items. Okay? Thank you children.